Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to speak about Uriel Ventress. Uriel Ventress. Uriel Ventress? Uriel Ventress? Uriel Ventress. That's how I pronounce it. You have to live with that throughout this video. So this is taken from the Black Library Anthology. It's basically a book filled with um, um, a few stories, some from the Horus Heresy, some from 40,000, some from AOS. Now one of the big stories in here is called The Death of Uriel Ventress by Graham McNeil. And it says, this is this is the little blurb of text that goes with it. Lying close to death, Uriel Ventress experiences visions of life, letting courage and honour. In his delirium, old ghosts from the past visit him, and he beholds vistas of worlds that he yearns for, but which could never be. As Uriel struggles to comprehend the meaning in what he experiences, he wonders, is this the afterlife, a reward for his loyalty and service, or something else? Question mark. Now, thanks to a chap over on Bolter and Chainsaw. By the way, everyone should go over and subscribe to this form because it is probably the best Warhammer 40,000 form there is out there. And um, so, Mr. Art Parker is a form user, and he actually it was his book, um, which I actually uh, saw the picture of this on on one of the um, one of the threads. He actually read the story, and in the story, he it basically confirmed that Euro Ventress um, is getting upgraded to a Primaris Marine. Right, let me just read you the blurb of spoiler text that he actually put. So thank you for this, Mr. Parker. Make sure you go over and give him a like up um, for this little spoiler post he did. So he states, Uriel is on the point of death with a deadly skull visage in front of him, telling him the fate that will shortly befall him, the pain and fire that will soon rack his body. He begins to recall those who made him the man he was in his life, previous captains, his company command squad, even his enemies. With each person he comes across, he sees their death or with his beloved fourth company turning their back on him eventually he sees his greatest foe Honsu of the Iron Warriors at ahead of a vast force of demonic engines we don't like to speak about this guy do we charging towards him as he stands alone he remembers the words of the Codex Astartes stealing himself against his death as it is to come back on in the operating room, an ultramarine chaplain looks over Uriel's body and asks whether it had worked. Apothecary Salinas checks over uh, Ventaris and confirms that Uriel is dead, so it has indeed worked. All they have to do now is wait and see whether he, and this is in quotation marks, crosses the Rubicon. So it seems that Uriel Ventress is going to be the next Primaris upgrade, and it is indeed another Ultramarine. If I'm not mistaken, I think there is a Primaris upgraded chap in Aaron Dembski Bowden's um, Spears of the Emperor, but I, that's just through, I've heard that through the grapevine. I haven't had chance to sit down or read that anywhere. I've just heard that like on my Discord and stuff like that. So again, I can't really confirm that. But what I can confirm is that Uriel is going under the knife and he's having the upgrade surgery. And if it works out, which I guarantee 99.9% .9 that it will work out because it's Ural Ventress, then he's officially going to become the second Primaris Marine. Well, third Primaris Marine if the, the chap in the Empress Spears is confirmed to be correct. But there we go. We have another big lore character upgrading himself to a Primaris. I'm actually kind of surprised it went with another Ultramarine. I actually thought they were going to do someone from another chapter. Like, we've got Dante, we've got... Um, um, Azriel, we've got some of the Space Wolf characters, we've got Lysander for the Imperial Fist. Really, really surprised they went down the route and they picked another Ultramarine to do this thing on again. Now, of course, I'm sure there's going to be some people that are quite um, upset about this. I know people still don't like the idea of Primaris. I think everyone knows my standpoint at the moment. I like Primaris, but I understand where people are coming from when they don't like Primaris. They think, you know, they're, they're basically losing the um, normal Marines to this new Primaris-esque type of um, uh, push now from GW. So I completely get, you know, why people are upset in some regards, you know, to the lore and certain characters being upgraded. But I think when when you have to step back and take just a look at this from GW side, this is the route they're taking now. And uh, I, this is just a start. Like, Kalgar was just a start. This is another character that's getting upgraded. And I'm sure within, you know, the next couple of years, of course, it's not going to happen overnight. I'm, I've always said between, like, five to, like, ten years... 
I personally think that the Primaris will be the main faction and that the normal Marines will probably really have no range left. I'm sorry if that upsets you. I don't want to try and like antagonize you or get people angry on purpose. I'm just looking at it from like a business standpoint from GW. So I hope like characters like um, Grimaldis, uh, Hellbreck, Lysander, Azriel, you know, all these characters which haven't had upgraded models, maybe this is why they haven't had the upgraded model because this has been in the works for GW for a couple of years now because we know that GW works in you know two to three years in advance of like what the models are actually putting out so maybe probably not this year but maybe next year or the year after that we'll start seeing these characters which haven't had the upgraded models start to get these upgraded Primaris models. All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. Please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just passing on all this um, law changes and all the stuff which I'm, you know, I'm getting a grasp of on the internet and stuff like that. I was just at the, one of the big events and I actually never picked up this book. I picked up the Angron book instead. I really should have picked up this book now, shouldn't I? So uh, that's probably going to be my next purchase um, when I visit uh, Warhammer World or one of the next um, big events. As always, let me know uh, what you think about it in the comment section. Let's try to be decent into each other let's not like start snapping each other because someone likes primaris or someone hates primaris let's let's have a nice healthy um uh, discussion about this uh, down below thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and as my brother once said goodbye brothers